Hi, welcome to Milgap Farm. It is a cold day here on the farm. Actually, I'm not on the farm, I'm at the cabin. And today, I gotta replace the motor in this fan. Uh, this is our outdoor unit for the cabin. A couple of weeks ago, it went bad. Uh, so, my cousin and I did some troubleshooting and we found out it's the motor on the fan. Hopefully, I've got all the pieces, parts to get this thing apart and install it. It is so cold out here, guys. It has to be 10 degrees. By the time we're done, we're gonna install the fan and the capacitor for the fan. And that should take, I don't know, half hour? We'll see. So come along, let's see if we can get this done. This is a motor directly from train itself. So it should bolt, eh, to the degree, it should bolt up fairly easily. One thing I should have told you is I've already turned the electrical off both here and upstairs. That takes care of all the low voltage by turning it off upstairs in the house. No way. Oh, that stinks. comes out fairly easy. Well, that ain't gonna do it. <clears throat> I believe the trick to this game is gonna be snip the wires as close to the motor as you can so that you can fish them back down through the conduit. Look at 
To make this go in a little bit easier, I'm gonna stagger the ends and put a piece of tape around them so they'll slide through the conduit much easier. I'm also gonna tape this wire to the pigtail. Bend it over so it doesn't come off. And make sure I get tape over top of the connector so when it goes back through, won't have any problems. With everything taped together, we can now fish the wires through the conduit to the panel. Make it as easy as possible for it to go through the conduit. You don't want to get any binds because if you get a bind and you disconnect your, your fish wire, it's just going to be painful. Just pull nice and steady. Is it not coming? Fish a little bit with your hand. I'm trying to hold on to the other wire just in case I lose it. I don't have to push it all the way back through. You can see the conduit. You may not be able to see it. The conduit's right up inside of here. It's going to come out and we're going to connect it in, inside of this to its individual pieces. You're replacing one wire at a time. That way you don't get confused and connect something incorrectly. Next wire we're going to connect is the purple wire. wire we're going to connect is the black wire. Now that we got all our wires connected, the next thing we're going to do, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the blade back onto the fan motor. There's no flat spot inside of here, so you want to make sure that you get the flat spot here or the the pin that's going to hold it, or the screw that's going to hold it, lined up with this flat spot on the shaft. If you don't do that, it could move a little bit on you. That'd be a problem.
right. Air's coming on. Let's go down and check the outdoor unit, see if it's working now. for a little bit and then we're gonna see if it's gonna heat the house real quick guys let's go over what we did we put the fan motor in we did not put the capacitor in because it's a different size it may be the actual one but I don't have a way of securing it in there so I'm gonna contact uh, my cousin Daryl who helped me out with my parts and then find out what I need to do next we may have to come back and put this in but today it's working, it came up to temperature, and everything is good. I wanna say thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. Consider giving us that thumbs up. Comments are very, very helpful. And consider coming back and visiting. I know I gotta say something else. Ah, we're Virginia's only organic maple syrup producer. If you ever wanna come out and visit our farm, go to millgatfarms.com. Until next time, God bless you guys. Oh boy, it is stinking cold out here still.